This is the IA Podcast, where things don't actually point north, they point south. Today on the podcast, we talk about a couple things that are happening in our community. You know, website-related stuff. Talk about... Oh, God, are we still talking about that Sombra thing? I feel like the Overwatch community is pretty much tired of it by now. And some stuff is being released on Steam. Classic games and stuff. That's good. And our friend Shrove finds a very, very interesting group on Elite Dangerous. Stick around. This should be a good one. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. It is episode 17, and you know what? We're not even going to tell you what day it is, because that's just the kind of people we are. But It's it, August 30th, 2016. Damn it, At least that's run. when we're recording it. <laughs> All right, fine. That's when we're recording it, but I don't know when we're going to be posting it up. Most likely never. We'll see about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> how's everyone doing today? As you can probably tell, I am joined by the dude run. I and also a certain cat in the box is in here. Purple. Uh, how are you guys doing, man? What's uh, what's going on with you guys? I'm still asleep. Well, you were awake enough to be playing some Rocket League, so and it didn't wake me up. And I was really, really bad at it, and I was only playing the computer the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So, I assume you did not win. Um, I won the one actual match I was playing, and then I I was doing training, and the training was kicking my ass. <laughs> well, that's good to know. So. Uh, anything else have you been playing uh, apart from Rocket League? Um, I was at a LAN party this weekend, and we played the GoldenEye Source uh, game. Oh, awesome! Oh, yeah, I've yeah. been wanting to get around. That to was that interesting. Out. What, it, what was it like? Um, nostalgic FPSs with really bad gun physics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I remember those guns. They weren't exactly the most accurate, but I mean, you know, it was like one of the first console FPSs that actually kind of got it right for their time. Pretty much. So, yeah, it was definitely a big, big step for console FPS gaming. It also and looks it's really good. Center. But, yeah, it was just really, really hard to play at times. There was one map where, for some reason, they decided it was a good idea to have literally only one connection between the two uh, spawn points, and it was a capture the flag map. Oh, boy. Um, and it was a tiny little hallway, choke hallway. And then one of the game modes is where a lot of the secondary spawns are grenades. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And you get like six of them when you pick them up. What I'm trying to tell you here is that hallway was literally nothing but explosions all all the time. I can imagine. (laughs) Explosions 24-7. All day, every day. (laughs) (laughs) Now, this game, since it's a source mod, is it like a free-to-download game? Yeah, it is free. Okay, we're going to have to try this out then. Like, we should. Soon I eight. actually don't really know entirely how it was done because I was playing on a friend's laptop and he did it. So, um, yeah, Google, I'll have to look into Google it. Google will be our friend, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. We'll look it up and we will be placing all the proximity mines. It'll be fun. Yep. Yeah, there were there was one map with timed mines and that had the same problem. Only <laughs> instead of being in a, a close quarters hallway all the time, it was a lot of friendly fire. <laughs> sounds fun yeah we definitely need to do that uh dude run what have you been up to um i don't even remember yeah fucking it's... youtube and doing some random shit on soundcloud because i want to and that's about it really so by random shit do you just mean like you and ins- like yelling insane insane insanities i on might as well be but no on, i've on been SoundCloud. trying to cover songs sweet I, this is again, though, keep in mind, no practice, I have not practiced or warmed up at all, so they're probably terrible, but. <laughs> eh. Do you put, th- do you put words over like, um, like soundtracks, like say Super Mario or anything? 
No. That would be, that, that could be I just, cool. like, found instrumentals of some other band's songs and covered them. That's Sweet. it. Sweet. Sweet. That sounds really cool, actually. I should do more covers. I haven't done a cover in, like, years. You should, because I have not heard your singing voice, aside from, like, short jokes. <laughs> yeah, those aren't always the greatest, but, you know. Yeah. It gets the job done. I don't know about getting it done. It well, you know, it may be, it may be a half, half job done. And it half but, asses the, exactly. the half job done. Half assing it. Always good. You gotta full ass it. You really do, honestly. Either you go full asser or you just sit on your You go head. full hog or you don't go full hog. There's exactly. no in between. I completely agree. Falls deep in a squealing pig. Oh my. Or going all Roadhog on a <laughs> on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Pretty much, yeah. Oh we need to do that. That would actually be interesting. I would be down for that. Yes. All the chain hooking. <laughs> <laughs> Call ourselves Team Hooker. Oh. <laughs> Tim, I love so it. You said chain hooker, and I'm just like, well, that's a kinky night at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so basically, I mean, what have I been doing? I've been playing, yeah, I've been playing some Overwatch. I'm still playing some Stardew Valley. Um, and I've gone back into World of Warcraft. So, uh, yeah. Well, Legion dropped, so I can't blame you. Well, I actually haven't even purchased the, um, the new expansion. But I think I might be doing that really, really soon. <laughs> Um, yeah, they, they actually had, like, a really cool event that, um, like, pre, pre-expansion pre launch where basically you had, like, the Legion or, like, you know, all these fell things just, like, attacking the Scourge were, like, attacking, like, um, cities and zones around, uh, around regular Azeroth. And the awesome thing about it was that these things these creatures would actually scale to your level so if you were like a level 10 it would show up as a level 10 if you were like a level 95 or whatever it would show up as a level 95 and the xp that you got from it was amazing like me and a friend we went there and at level 11 and like i swear like no lie like less than 10 minutes later we were up to like level 18 that's how crazy it was. So it was like a really yeah. great time to level alts. But uh Okay, I need to get a job so I can play World of Warcraft again. <laughs> <laughs> but the event is over. I didn't really take that much advantage of it. Uh but yeah, man, that game is oh. always, always fun. Um yeah, I started a new character, so now like I have like a couple of new characters on Lightbringer. So that's kind of what I've been doing, apart from all the overwatching. And we did end up playing that PTR thing too, so that was fun. Yeah, we got to uh, play the new map. Yes, we did, and which I is Eichen Vault. For those that don't know, mm hmm. And fucking love that map. I like. I mean, like it's great having a new map where you don't really know where all the passages and all the health points are but like it was so much fun and i actually really like that map too like just the way it looked and just <laughs> the way it's just set up it's really really good so cannot wait to be playing on that map a lot more me neither and it should be going live on the 6th i think oh really? september yeah awesome getting really close to that now season two yeah totally uh, that'd be awesome and uh, I don't know if anyone's still playing that game, but awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm sure it's just going to be a running thing. Pretty much. Uh, and so we're going to get lawsuits because somebody out actually took that many shots and then died. <laughs> uh, great stuff. All right. So what do we have in the news today? Well, wow. actually, since you were just talking about Overwatch, somebody brought up to me last night. And I don't know enough Overwatch to really know anything about it. About uh, Blizzard favoring the PTR over the competitive mode or something like that. Yeah. Huh? I, that, that's literally as much as I could understand about it. What's going on there? 
Well, the PTR is kind of where they test out new patches for before it goes live. So if they favor that over the live thing for now, I can see why. All right. But, I mean, I, I yeah. could see the sense in that. But competitive mode's only in PTR for now. They're still working out ways to make it feel better to lose, I guess. And make the uh, matchmaking rounds feel better. Gotcha. I thought I'd ask that since, again, not something I'm really familiar with. No, fair enough. And I feel like um, it's going to be kind of like the same way as they do the Diablo Seasons or mm, the Heroes of the Storm, like competitive uh, seasons as well I believe that they have on there you know it's like they're gonna do it run it for maybe a couple of months and then there's gonna be a break for a couple of weeks you know while they kind of rework some stuff I'm sure and then relaunch it again for the sec for the next season so it'll be cool to see you know like I mean I honestly yeah I think seasons was the uh, competitive mode was very good but there's definitely a lot of room for improvement um, I am just glad that it's going to be like, you know, you can't lose your rank type of thing below a certain point. Cause that was really what was keeping me from actually playing that much of competitive, especially once I got to, um, to rank 55. I'm like, no, that is it. I'm not going back down again because it really sucks. You know, like it, it might not really be you. It might not really be the group you're with, but it could be just like, you know, those last two other people that are on your team, but you're not grouped up with. That are just like horrendous, you know, and like you lose a match because of them. So, or your team could be super great. It's just your the enemy team is just slightly better or a lot better. Exactly, or something. You know, any a billion things could happen, right? It's just like yeah. it really sucks. So I think this is a great way of kind of like mitigating all of that nonsense. I think I should have stopped earlier, like you did, because I went from 55 to 49. Oh, damn. And it wouldn't stop. Oof. It would not stop. That is rough. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's, yeah, it's one of those things, like, once I got, I think, to, like, I think I went as low as almost 50. And I was, like, at that point, I'm, like, okay. I, I need to get back to where I was. Like, I cannot... I don't care if I go any lower at this point. I'm just... I need to get back to where I was. I was lucky enough that, yeah, I ended up getting back to where I was. But, man, it is... Yeah, it's way too rough. It was so stressful. It's just, like, anxiety. All the anxiety. You know? It's just like, nah. That's how I felt when I first started playing Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I now it's only that way with competitive mode. Yeah, do you feel good now about quick play? Like even if you lose, I, yeah, play, I, like... I feel a lot better about quick okay. play. That's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, because that means you know you can like stick around a bit longer in quick play and like game with us. So that's always good. Yeah. yeah, I know how frustrating it is. You know when you just have like a bad stream of like losing games and you're just like, oh my god, like I just want to win one. Like I think you you came on voice one time when I was feeling that way and I was just like screaming at all the things. <laughs> Even though you were the only one that could hear me, I was just like, oh, I was just God. nodding and smiling the whole time because <laughs> someone much. finally gets it. Even though they told me to calm the fuck down. <laughs> oh man, doesn't feel good, does it? It didn't feel too great, no. Yep. But after that win, oh man, that was the sweetest thing ever. I know. <laughs> so what do we have in uh, in the news as far as like website stuff i hear or i see that there's a couple of stuff yeah there's stuff bro. well for starters this wonderful podcast is now accessible directly on the website awesome. i can't apply i can't clap someone clap for me thank you So, wait, wait, should we wait, be wait. slow clapping for the <laughs> fact that you can't clap? Uh, sure. Now it just sounds like... Now it's just awkward. <laughs> now it just sounds like you're masturbating. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> so wait, why can't you clap? Like, what's... Are you, like, I have to hold down my push talk button. Oh. Uh, 
<laughs> I could slap my foot, but that's he, he, not clapping. <laughs> so he needs one one hand to hold down the button and the other hand to masturbate. So pretty much, yeah. Not working too well if he needs to. So clap. I have no hands with which to clap. Exactly. Unless I slap my penis. Yeah, let's not do that. That might, that might kind of suck. Hey, that can be fun. I guess oh, no. if, you're, if you're into that Depends kind of thing. on how hard you hit and where. Yeah. Slap, 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 slap. The, I'm going to do it right now. Slap the penis. Slap the penis. Oh, yeah. I. You know what? I'm I'm actually more concerned about the fact, like, if he's doing this podcast while he's naked or if he was just that fast at removing his pants. Well, we did <laughs> apparently title the show Chain Hookers. That sounds like a kinky night at the bar. I guess slapping your dick naked <laughs> is uh, appropriate here. I guess it is, yeah. So that happened. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's cool. So yeah, so everything now is accessible from the website itself. Yep, though it looks like hell at the moment on that particular page. There's a lot of prettyifying that I need to do, and I need to type in descriptions and all that. And I need um, to like there's give you the descriptions because um, there's uh there's a lot of text in each one. Probably, like, figure out a condensed way to do it. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Maybe just, so. like, list the casters rather than the whole, like, blurb of... Oh, hey, check out our website. Right. It's gonna have... It's gonna have things. It'll list that, so... Hmm. It'll be good. But, so yeah, what, work what in progress. A, what is a good way of getting to the website from the main page? Um, Do it's the, in the menu bar. Um, so, forum. if you go media? to the website, oh, any page on the media. website, yep, it's under the media tab, you click it, podcasts is an option, you click oh, it, awesome. and there it is. That's amazing. And for those that don't know yet, we have a website on Engine. Go to insomniacs-anonymous.com, and you'll be there. Do they need to sign up for the forum before they can view it, or are they just like... Um... Uh, can they just like go there and see the stuff? Actually, I can. Pr Let me see what that one's set to. Normally, you'd have to be a member to see pages, but I can change that for the podcast page. Yeah, it might be a good idea for like the home page just to see, just to let people see inside, and then the podcast page just to have it there. Just to have it there. So they can be, oh, oh yeah, we have a podcast. You mean they would be like, oh yeah, they have a podcast. Ah, yeah, they do have a podcast. Oh, look at that, they have a podcast. Oh, hey, they have a porncast. Oh my. Well, I mean, that is coming later, right? That's Dude Run Show and, and I, when we're doing uh, live cam, you know, and that, yeah. our uh, IA reunion. Yeah, that's happening. Or if this gets like super huge and there's fan fiction, we could read that. Oh, totally. Yeah. Dramatic <laughs> air readings. Yes. Over the air. Gonna read over the, air. the internet. <laughs> All over the internet. I just like to oh. find one smut fan fiction of all of <laughs> Oh, <us>. God. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. Dude Run was standing outside the doors. His long, wavy, curly hair, all wet from the rain. <laughs> when did I get long, curly what? hair? <laughs> it's fan fiction, man. Just go with it. <laughs> I guess this is like years down the road. <laughs> oh man. So what else is uh, what else is up? We have um. There's a vote going on. We have been using and testing out Discord for a couple months now. And it is now time to vote if you would like to keep as a Discord or return to TeamSpeak 3 in full force. Voted. I don't the know how many, this, uh, five uh, users have voted and... Well, I, I won't read off the results right now because I'm sure more people will vote, but... Right. Yeah, let's just say it's kind of heavily leaning towards towards one at the moment. Yeah. And I kind of expected that. And I also didn't realize for a long time until I think literally last week is when I discovered this. Um, obviously, we still use TeamSpeak every now and then for certain things because TeamSpeak is a more fully-fledged program. Um, but by default, we actually get 
a five slot TeamSpeak server with our engine plan. So we'll always have TeamSpeak as long as we have our engine website. And yeah. I'm still working on, you know, having our own custom run server at some point in time using one of my old family computers that I've inherited. Right, Along with some nice. cool game servers, hopefully, maybe. Oh! Cool. So. Yeah, those are the things. Oh, and the shout box is on every page now. I kind of decided that was a thing that needed to happen. Okay. So if you're ever on a page and you feel like, you know, I feel like shouting at people, just scroll down a little. It's right there. Well, there so those are some changes that you can see on the website. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah, that's that's uh it's looking pretty good. Uh and let's see. So what else do we have? Dude run. Did you how did you want to talk about uh about one last Overwatch thing? There's never yes, going to be I one do. last Overwatch thing. <laughs> and this is probably never going to be talked about on the podcast anymore because I'm tired of seeing it and it seems a lot of the communities of Overwatch is tired of seeing it, but the Sombra alternate reality game, or ARG, in a funny way A-R-G. to pronounce it anyway. <laughs> A-R- I'm going to call it an ARG. It's funny Arr. that way. But uh, the community is tired of it. Not collectively. Like, there's still people that are interested in solving all the codes and stuff, but it's mostly become a waiting game now. Like currently people are watching a website called a moment in crime.com where Sombra has hacked this website and is supposedly uploading something to all the Omnics in Overwatch. And this has a progress percentage thing that is slowly counting up. Now whether this is to 100% or the theme 23 that we've kind of gathered to be the main theme of this whole ARG. We don't know. But we from this little hack thing and from the forum post that glitched out on Battle.net, we apparently have a key of sorts from Sombra, whether this is her Battle.net password or the tracer code password, no one knows. Right. But no one's figured it out yet, and it's kind of boring just waiting around after another waiting game just to see what happens. And people are mad about it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was kind of tired of it too, but like, I don't know, like, (laughs) minute four. (laughs) Like, honestly, like, it was just like, yeah, I mean, like, you're either going to tell us or like, you're not, like, okay, just like. Stop giving us, like, all these little hints and stuff for us to decode and just, like, you know, I'm, like, it got to the point where I'm just, like, you know, watched or not even really be a Sombra. This is all just, like, a big, like, F you. Like, how horrible would that be? Yeah, that, I'm, I think people are starting to think that's the case. <laughs> I'm starting to think that's the case. Or it's yeah. not Sombra, but a new game mode. Mm-hmm. Because if you're uploading something to the Omnix, what would that be, and why? Yeah, exactly. So this is probably, like, Overwatch... It may be Overwatch's answer to Man vs. Machine on TF2. Ooh. That's what I'm starting to think, is... If Sombra's supposed to be a character, why are they bothering with the Omnix at this point? Right, yeah. Other than to cause trouble. Don't even know. But in any case, I guess, yeah, we'll we'll find out eventually. And uh, if it's even a real character or what all this is like, what? Well, yeah, it's probably just like an acronym for something really, really, really stupid or something or something really cool. You never know. Some other motherfucker brought really awesome. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. <laughs> yes, totally. Brought something really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Sombra is really the player. Probably. 
Sombra was us all deep. along. Sombra wasn't a, a character, but the journey itself of finding Sombra. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what it was all about. Sombra is Christmas. <laughs> Watch it, yeah. Watch it actually be like, um, like some kind of an event thing. That would be actually cool, like a summer games oh, yeah. kind of thing, but like you know, different. A spy game. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 dude, dude. Run. Were you there yesterday when I uh, when we were talking about the summer games, and then we're like, wouldn't it be awesome if the next one was like a uh, a Halloween a Halloween one? thing? Yeah, I yeah. was there for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I wasn't sure if you had left yet at that point or not, but I uh, know I was there. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had commented though that. Reaper already dresses like it's Halloween, so what would their costume be? I'm starting to think, like, maybe like a clown costume or something you can't take seriously. I, and I would so be down for that. That'd be amazing. Me too. Oh, man. I would totally spend points on that. If it was a... Well, actually, if it if it's anything like the Summer Games, chances are you're probably going to have to get it out of a loot box and yeah. purchase it, which, you know, okay, I guess... I wonder what it, the loot boxes would look like. Just like a jack-o'-lantern opening up, or oh, would it be... Oh, that would be cool. I'd like to see something like that, yeah. yeah. That would yeah. be nice. And then it that explodes into, like, fire and bats and stuff, and then it all these parts drop down. Dude, why are you not working at Blizzard right now? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> that needs to happen. I'm not a video really editor, does. not a game designer. Uh, well, you know. This needs to happen. Blizzard though. makes enough fucking videos. Yeah. <laughs> Let's plays are easy now. Like I've gotten that system down pat. Sweet. I need to find something challenging. Yes, which is why I'm trying to find work as a video editor. It's not working. I'm sure you'll find something soon enough. Mm. Create, become the own your own mogul company thing or something. Um. Oh, by the way, also I um I saw like sometime this week that um. Steam actually now has like all these really old and amazing old school PC games. Um, uh, of, like what? A lot of those old point and click adventure games. So like there's like Police Quest, there's Gabriel Knight and the following sequels. Uh, there's Arcanum. I'm reading off a list here. Uh, Phantasmagoria. And one of my personal favorites, uh, Caesar 3, which is like a city building game, city building management game. Such a great game. All the nostalgia. But yeah, so uh, if, um, I mean, a lot of these are already on a service called Good Old Games, which is a fantastic site. So if you've never heard of it, definitely check it out. It has a lot of great old games at really cheap price. And it's also DRM free, so you can just like, you know. You don't need like a Steam thing, but I guess if you're already, if you rather have them on Steam, they're now on Steam. So, so there you go. Um, I think I felt like there was probably more of them that came out earlier this week, but that is the list that I have on me. Have you guys played at all like any of the Caesar games? I don't. Nope. Th they've been a few of them are on my list, and actually, I think I have Arcanum and. Maybe Phantasm Girl? That's a mobile one, isn't it? I'm not too sure on Phantasmagoria. But I've heard of it, and I've heard it great things. No, I'm sorry. I meant not... Arcanum. Oh, Ar yeah, I'm not too sure what that one is either. Oh. The only ones that I know is like Police Quest, uh, Gabriel Knight, and uh, Caesar. But the other ones, no, I've never actually, uh, I've never actually played them. So I think this might be a good chance, or a good opportunity for me to uh, to try them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's Down always something about it. old school games that, like, I don't know, like they just, even though I may have never played them, they always just bring a certain sense of nostalgia, just because of uh, the way that, like, I don't know, I feel like games were a lot more like. For me, it's one of those things like, you know, like if you add too much stuff to a game, like there's no there's no room for your imagination, you know, because everything is there. Uh, and a lot of these games, you know, I mean, like because they just didn't maybe they would just want to they didn't feel like creating that many game assets or anything like you see a lot of like rooms that are like slightly more emptier than, you know, than you would see them nowadays. And I don't know, for me, like that kind of like game design just 
gets my imagination going a little bit more, you know, as to like what what could have happened in this room or that kind of stuff. So like whenever I play like say like Deus Ex, I I certainly even though like I had never played that game before my first playthrough through it was like such a nostalgia trip because I'm like, oh man, like back in the day, you know, this is how they used to make games. So it's really it's a really weird thing, but I really enjoy Good playing old, old games. Deus Ex. <laughs> yeah, no, I like a lot of the old stuff too. I think that's one of the reasons that I've always been able to tolerate uh, TF2 as much as it is, is because it's kind of a nostalgia trippy game for me. Oh my god, and it's definitely it's feeling a little that timeless. Way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely feeling that way for me too now. Like especially once Overwatch came out, whenever I go back to TF2 and it has that nostalgia feel on it too. It's it's great. Yeah, it's, it's such a good game. And um, yeah, I played Deus Ex. What else are the old games that I played? There was one point where I randomly uh, I started getting stuff on DOSBox and pulled out um, Sim Tower. <laughs> oh my God, Sim Tower! No way! Yeah, oh, it was great. I killed like two days. I didn't know what happened to my life. <laughs> oh my God, Sim Tower! Uh, I'm I can't even remember how old I was when I was playing that game. It must have been like. I don't either. Oh my god, yeah. This is like early teens probably for me. Dude, in SimCity 2000? Yeah, SimCity 2000. I was The yeah, best like, SimCity ever. Oh man. That was such a good one. I really like SimCity 3000 though, like the, the, the aesthetics of it. But like, yeah, like SimCity 2000. I remember I would always kind of like edit my own buildings and stuff and just made them look just slightly more poppier like it was just oh great times it was awesome yeah those were good times indeed so in um in newer game news uh did you guys hear about the whole steam refunds and no man's sky uh i think you were telling me about that yesterday right um well i guess there's just a, a news article that popped out that um, uh, Steam, or rather Valve, went ahead and made a public service announcement on the Steam service by No Man's Sky's title that uh, states that there are no actual exemptions for No Man's Sky and to please, uh, the, um, please remember that the steam refund policy is still in effect and if you need to read it here you are so <laughs> uh, apparently they are just uh allowing a lot of people more than normal to appeal their refunds even though they have you know more hours played and that kind of thing than the normal automatic refund service would allow so uh, yeah, that article just went out last night, I guess. I kind of glanced at it, yeah, so it seems like, you know, hey, it is what it is. That's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like a lot of people definitely got let down <laughs> by that game. Um, our expectations were definitely a little too high, I guess. And, uh, yeah, like, I guess, you know, it was bound to happen under the, under the circumstances. The... It's, it's a little sad. It's, uh, it, it is. It's, yeah, they, crazy. they've, they're getting beat to hell on them. And I mean, I feel sorry for him and I don't feel sorry for him. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, I was really hoping this could be, like, you know, the next, um, I don't know, like, Starbound or Minecraft. You know, like, that's mm. kind of what I was hoping for. More Starbound kind of thing, right? But, like, 3D. But, right. Yeah, no, no, we're close. No, we're close. So, anything else uh, that we want to talk about that's in the news, uh, Shro? Mm, what other news thing? Something about a church. I mean, that's uh, not really a news thing as so much as it is just silliness. 
Right, well, well silliness is also news, and we just found it out, so maybe go ahead. Alright, alright. Um, so somebody posted last night in Elite Dangerous, one of the other games I play, or rather did play, and then my computer died, and so I couldn't play it, and I am now, hopefully, in a couple days, returning to it, because my computer will be working again. And... Anyways, somebody took a picture of a starport that they found called Schrodinger City. And if you know anything about me, then you know my common gaming alias is Schrodinger's Cat, as it is in Elite Dangerous. Schrodinger City has somehow been repurposed as Church of the Space Cat. And there is apparently a player faction surrounding this, complete with their own guild, website, roster, logbooks, missions, etc. That is, Church of the Space Cat. All centered around the mystical... Supreme Space Cat Meow. Forever may his whiskers guide us in the darkness. That sounds amazing. <laughs> so, I, I'm actually, I was telling dude before we started recording, I was a little sad because I found this thread on Reddit, and in Elite Dangerous, you have, you can choose the option to put your commander name, uh, commander being your character name, with your actual account name on the Elite Dangerous subreddit, and so it shows that I am, in fact, Commander Schrodinger's cat, and I just kind of was like, um, that's my box, can you put me in it? I can't remember if I'm supposed to exist or not. <laughs> and I'm really kind of sad, because I really haven't gotten replies on that, and I'm like, oh, come on, guys, this is, this is like my moment on Reddit where my name is relevant. <laughs> Give me my moment. <laughs> Give it to me until you get into the game. Or are you a different name in game? No, that's that's the fun part. I am actually oh. the right name. Because I was one of the people that adopted Elite Dangerous early, me, Squall, and a few other people that um, um I was able to grab the name before it got taken. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, so it sounds like you found your mecha. Pretty much. I get to be worshipped in space as the, the space fuzzy space cat. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> they even have commandments, which is really good. There are only nine, though, because there are only nine lives. <laughs> that makes sense. And so, there, sh there shall be nip upon thee at all times. Lap shall be presented on demand. Tuna is right out. There shall be no serious business before afternoon tea. Naps are preferable to most things. Nap often, nap plenty. <laughs> Do unto others as the space cat does, i.e. don't. Seek guidance in the words of Schrodinger. <laughs> Time is not relevant, only relative, but always have breakfast ready by 6 in the morning before you wake <laughs> up. Very cool. Burn all without pause. <laughs> Very cool indeed. <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited to kind of just... I'm actually wondering if the players in Church of the Space Cat are really mad that the name is taken. And then further, if there... I don't think there's a way to see activity on other players. But it would be funny if they're like, Yeah, some fucker that hasn't logged in in 10 months has the fucking name. <laughs> or on the flip side, it's like, One day he'll return. <laughs> <laughs> Return to us. The Messiah so that explain will why come. there's a church of Schrodinger. Oh, totally. They worship you. That would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, good time. And then and he then one day return, disappeared then... from the galaxy map. <laughs> and here we wait for the dearest return. <laughs> oh, hey guys, how's it going? <gasps> the prophecy. The Nip Master has come back! <laughs> the Nip must flow! That's hilarious. 
Okay, when you no say, I know you mean catnip, okay. but I hear nipple. The nipple that's, must... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could be a pregnant space cat, who knows. That, that might be another... Oh, uh, and suddenly, Church of the Space Cat became NC-17 rated cult. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Nice. Uh, do we have anything to, uh, to talk about before we do wrap it up? Because I think we've kind of run out of topics. Um, we're getting efficient at this. I'm a little concerned about that, actually. <laughs> yeah, we need to work on a couple things, but uh, I need well, to get I'm better about not stopping when I talk. Well, you know that always. It's just because whenever you stop talking, we're all in just such awe that we just need to take a pause. So I'm trying to sort my thoughts out as I talk, and that doesn't always work too well in my favor. That's all good. It happens. You mean you don't? Want to sound like James Tiberius Kirk? Kirk. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to sound like him. I want to get my words out in one go, but words are bad. Words are bad. Words when they are first very made bad. the Star Trek reboot in 2009, or whenever the hell that launched, um, I, I really wondered if they were gonna make. Damn, I can't remember his name. Whoever is actually playing Kirk. If they're going to make him talk like that? <laughs> yeah, if they were going to make him talk like... <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm so... glad he doesn't, but... Yeah. I think we'd have lengthened the movie by an hour. Okay. It's Chris Pine that... Wait, no. Yeah, it is Chris Pine. Getting your thoughts together. Yeah, Chris Pine in the new movies, and Shatner in the others. And there are a few more that I didn't even know about. Huh. Um, also, go post Mo Porn in the Not Safe for Work channel. Awesome. Well, there's always Guild Wars porn in the Not Safe for Work channel. In fact, I made a video showcasing but I want the... there needs to be other people posting yeah. it other than me I don't want I love all the porn but I want to share it not hoard it okay fine I'll find my porn site shit squaz why do you have a gif of someone taking a, spe a <laughs> stringy shit <laughs> I don't need to see that when I mouse over it you know what was funny about that the land party I was at was watching that. I got home, and then Squall posts. I'm like, really? <laughs> well, I guess it is not safe for work, but I didn't expect to see shit. <sighs> or we need more porn. Yeah. Fine, I'll post e some porn or, when I get or. the chance. The, the shit ratio in the Not Safe for Work channel is too damn high. <laughs> <laughs> more porn, more sexy char, more Guild Wars unspeakable acts of sexuality. I thought the thought was going to end with Guild Wars. <laughs> more Guild Wars! <laughs> Period. <laughs> All the Guild Wars. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, I feel like uh, we've exhausted all of our topics for this week. So let's uh, let's call it a day. Slap a slap something on this. What should we slap? Slap off? my bagel on it, cause I really um, want a bagel. There you go. Slap a bagel on it, and we will see you all next week. I propose that as a as a podcast episode title. Slap a bagel on it. <laughs> slap a bagel on it. We'll With what we on top? Well, now we have two titles, and I don't know what to do now. I think Flapple we should probably bagel on it the and, shorter and one. The name of the space mouthful. cat. That, make it the shorter one, whatever it would be. Don't put is, spaces is, in it when you when I I get the file sent to me because it's really irritating to have to take all the spaces out. Well, you know, what can you do? Uh, when I get I'll, the I'll do, I'll file, do underscores. I'll do, I'll do underscores. If that helps. HTML, all I know is just URLs for HTML can't handle spaces, and I have to replace them all with percent 20 or manually delete them. 
I don't know why percent twenty is the weird code for a space, but it is. Okay. I always like n- name the episode via URL like podcast seventeen or something. It's like whatever the just the episode number. Eh, I don't know. As long as I'd... there are no spaces, you can name it whatever the hell you want because I can just copy pasta that. True say, true say. There is no character or... limit other than. Well, there might be some sort of binary, like, mathematical limitation of, like, 65,000 kilobits or something, but... Well, there is something you could do for, like, title and description and stuff. Uh, go well, you know, we could, we could definitely talk about... We could talk about we all We should. Yeah, we could talk after about we've it. After the podcast, that would be <laughs> Or great. we could talk about it okay, during guys, the podcast. What do you, you so think, audience? <laughs> Weigh in on how we should name you, the yeah, files like, for the Obviously, podcast. this is a work in progress because, you know, we're doing this live. But <laughs> anyways, we'll really see really you sure. again next week, guys. From all He's of us, trying to shove us out. He doesn't want us to talk to you. How else we're being held against our will? Tell him how to name the podcast. Uh, on behalf of myself, Dude Run, and Shro, thank you once again he for won't listening let us to speak for himself. You see what he's God doing? <laughs> uh, do not pay attention at the guns that are pointed to their heads. They are not what trying guns? to blink in oh, Morse hey, code father. for help. <laughs> Nothing is real. Oh, so until cool. next time. Goodbye, guys. Have a good one. We're going to get arrested. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> He's making us sing this song. Dude's giving me. He's got his shoes. Oh, just pull the trigger. <laughs>